I'm Mark Cowley, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Welcome back to the Hydro Series. The video series where we take a Hydro's controller, we put it in the hand of two very different aquarists. We're gonna put one in the hands of Jimmy Newby Reefer, who's never had a controller, has no experience with it, and we see what it's like for him to set it up. And then we put one in the hands of an old dog who's gotta learn new tricks, that's me and I have to reprogram my brain to think differently to how I'm gonna approach the Hydros because the Hydros is set up different than the controllers that I'm used to. So I've gotta watch myself and make sure that I'm not just getting to that old curmudgeon reefer who's like, I wanna do it how I used to do it. So today, I'm gonna to set up the Hydros Control X4 starter pack. I've got the brain, I've got a four strip power control bar, I've got a pH probe, temperature probe, and then the power brick that powers the brain. So. There's a nice QR code on here. I'm going to scan and see what that's about. Looks like I got to download an app first. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll set up my account. I'm sure that's part of it. And then I'm going to jump in here. Now look, I'm going to watch the videos. I'm going to read the instructions. I'm not just going to try to set this thing up out of nowhere because a controller is a little different than setting up a pump. Like if you plug in a pump and starts making water and you're moving water in your tank, pretty hard like to mess something up unless it's this high flow pump and too small of a tank. You don't want to do that anyway. I'm gonna to wanna to follow the steps, make sure I set this thing up properly. And also look, if I just jump into it and like get frustrated, did you watch, read the instructions or watch the videos? No? Well duh, of course you're gonna get frustrated. So let me download the app, watch some videos. Let me show you what it's like to set this thing up from someone who's used to something totally different. See what it's like to check out the hydros. All right, didn't even get to the videos yet. I'm noticing something that's jumping out at me. I've got covers for all the ports. So whatever ports you're not using, it's gonna stay covered and help protect it from any splashing, which is kind of cool. Look, I wouldn't thought of that. All right, let's keep going. Something else that's jumping out at me, everything's color coded. Power, what they call a command bus, that's blue. Blue on here, blue on here, which is kind of cool. And then sense, is what they call for ports, for probes. It's green, it's got a little bit of green shock relief there, and then it's got green here on the hydro. So it looks pretty simple in terms of figuring it out. I'm still gonna watch the videos, but I'm giving you a little bit of a play-by-play -play as I see it, a little bit RUF combined with, we gotta watch the videos. First thing to do, get the app downloaded and an account set up, which was Breeze. Poking around the app some, I noticed that I can set what type of notification I'm going to get based on how severe the issue is. For example, email, push notification, or audible alert if the alert level is yellow, orange, or red. That's nice as I don't have to get an alert for every single event that might cause an alert. Do I really want an audible alert if my ORP is on a range? Probably not. Next, I jumped right in and set up the temperature probe. A little different having to set up a probe as you can't just plug it into the hydros and go from there. That's due to the fact that there are no dedicated ports on the hydros. The connector on the pH, ORP, and temperature probe are all the same, so you have to tell the hydros what type of probe you're plugging into the base unit. Setting up the temp probe was easy though, just create an input, then tell the hydros what type of input it is, in this case it's a sense port, it's a temperature probe, then I tell what sense port I'm plugging into, I set the safe range, in Celsius now, but I swapped that later for Fahrenheit with a simple preference change. Then I set the notification level for the probe, none, yellow, orange, or red, based on how urgent I felt the outer range was for the temperature probe, upload the changes, and the temp probe is set up. Up to this point, it's been really easy to set up the hydros and to figure it out. Watched one video, read the website real quick, I got the hang of it. I'm starting to learn my way around the app, get a sense of how things are laid out, Got the temperature probe up, that was cake. Let's do maybe something a little more complicated with a pH probe. Right here in the app, I'm gonna say it's a probe port. It's a pH port. Where is it plugged in? Probe port one or two, that's easily identifiable on the base unit because they're numbered. Default safe range, I can calibrate it. Notification level, so here I can say, do I wanna be notified if something is off at what kind of level, yellow, orange, or red? I'm gonna go with yellow. Upload changes, bing, 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 done. 
First thing that jumped out at me about the instructions with the pH probe is that you don't have to calibrate it out of the box. They say the probe is pretty much ready to go, but it could take a week to break in. So I certainly like calibrating things. It gives me instructions if I want to calibrate it, but you don't have to do that if you're not comfortable doing that right out of the box. So far though, this is very intuitive. I'm watching a quick video, reading the quick instructions. I'm certainly not frustrated with this thing. I actually want to fiddle with it a bit more, but I'm going slow. I realize some of you are watching this video, you're getting used to things, you may not want to jump into it. So I'm going to leave the power bar disconnected for now. I just want to familiarize myself with the app a little bit and I want to leave my house and just see what it's like to access this thing on the cloud. It shouldn't be any different because the Hydros is going up to the cloud down to my device, but I just want to see what it's like. Give it a whirl. I'm going to get down to town. I'll be back. Plug in the power bar in the next episode, but we got to give it to Jimmy because it's his turn to plug in some stuff to his Hydros, see how it goes for the newbie. I'm Mark Callan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Sorry, I'm just distracted. I just want to go fiddle. I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.